And welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Lord of the Rings. When we last left off, we were exploring the town of Bree here. There's really a lot of stuff you could do here, but most of it is all, like, informational more than anything else. You can go to all the shops, you can go to the library and read books. You do a lot of nice, neat old things. But there's one more thing that I want to do here that is fairly useful for party purposes. So you see this this guy up here? That's the guy who used to be in the, uh, the, the Prancing Pony. Basically, he's gonna sell you a sell you a pony here if you can afford it. Of course, we can, so we'll take it. So now we have two ponies. Nice. So now we can pretty much unload a lot all of our inventory onto pony number one and number two. All right. So now we're out of Bree here. So now we're gonna go up north here and see what's see what's around here. Ooh. It's like a little farm or something there. Is there any, any mushrooms or anything here? No, it's just not like farmer maggots. It's a big freaking farm too, look. Wow. I wonder who owns that. Guess we won't find out, huh? Oh, this is the long road north to a t village called Arcat. Oh, there's a hobbit here. And they all say the same thing. I thought I'm foolish to go for a walk at night. <laughs> so here we are in Arcat. This guy, is there anything interesting? Ah, here we go bartender here. Welcome to the Chatwood Inn, finest inn in our cat. Our ale isn't the best, but don't drink too much. Or is the best. <laughs> Why would he say it's not the best, huh? And you could buy ale, hot food, and mushrooms here. So very useful items if you want to later on stock up on healing items. I think that's really about it that there is up here. Oh, let's talk to the, this human here. See if he says anything. Mark Oakwood. Times have gotten hard. There are wolves and robbers and things that would chill your blood. Yeah. Ah, he doesn't sell anything, so... I think there's anything interesting up here. There might be. Maybe I'll come back here later. So I'm gonna head south now. Let's see what we can't find here. There's all sorts of different neat little areas that are just tucked away in this game. Remember, this game is very big. I mean, the world of the Middle Earth is like huge, so you just never know what you're gonna find sometimes. You wonder what these marsh flies eat when they can't get hobbits or people. Also, this is a marsh, this isn't a, a farm. Oh, okay, that's fine with me. <laughs> Okay, now this is back on the main road here. And this special area right here is called the Forsaken Inn. And this guy is Orin. I am Orin, son of Fudin. I have little to offer except a place to rest. Let's rest. Does he have any news? No, he doesn't have very much. Well, can we rest or not? Maybe. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, this is a secret area. Nice. So let's explore around here and see if we can't find anything interesting. Oh, some graves. Sarcophagi. They, they fought the Battle of Five Armies. Now side by side, they lie. Dane's sure soldiers. Baldor, Orin, and Bolthar. Very, very brave dwarves, I suppose. What else is here? Uh, just nothing there. 
anything over here. Just a little chamber there. And it's battle time for some spiders. They're pretty easy now that we have a lot of people in our party just to basically own them. Everybody's at full life now. I think they infinitely respawn here, if I remember correct. Yeah. So if you just keep coming back to this point, you can just keep fighting spiders. There's no point, though. It's not like they give you experience like in other RPGs. Of course, I could be wrong. <laughs> but you could practice your battle skills there if you want to. Just test your armor and weapons up against them. Good target practice, if you ask me. Now, around here somewhere, there's there's a hidden item. Um, but I don't have the necessary equipment to know exactly where it is. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. Let's go up this way. Did you find anything here? No. That's a dead end. Those are all dead ends. This is a nice little maze here. Ah, more spiders. Die, spiders. Too easy. And see, look at this area. There's three green skulls there, but there's one missing there, and then there's a ghost. There's a single empty space on the table. The silent spirit watches you. So we need to find a green skull for that guy. Now, if you remember uh, earlier... You could actually buy some green skulls at like some of the different enchantment shops. So, we're gonna go see if we can find a, a green skull around here somewhere. Let's head south towards Staddle. One, one thing you do if, if you ask a lot of people about the news in Bree, they always ask you to go down here to Staddle where the curio shop is if you're looking for interesting stuff. So let's. Let's head that way. Got any? Yeah, here we go. Oh, who's that? Oh, and Lilypool. Greetings, dear hearts. I am glad to see that you have survived your perils. I will help you. Well, how are you going to help us? My family is a gift of far sight. I knew you would come. Only with the blessing of Luthien will you triumph. So, if you don't already have the Luthien Word of Power, she can give that to you. Very important. Because you're gonna be, we're going to be using that very soon, actually. Ah, what's here? Is this the curio shop? Aha, yeah, this is. You can get a green skull and, and a gold ring. So let's buy both of those. You can also get gold ring back at the other shop. And now let's head back towards where that that place was. Then we'll be able to get a clue on, on some information. There we are. Forsaken in. Let's go back down below here. There we go. Now let's go back over here towards where, where the ghost was. up this way right so let's use an item use the green skull and here's our hint on spectral voice whispers from Bury's Karn west south east south east north west so let me just take some time to write that down so we're talking about Bury's Karn huh so we gotta find Bury first, then we gotta go west, then we gotta go south, and then east, and then south, and east, and then north, and then west. Okay, I got that written down. So let's let's explore this area. Let's see if we can find what we're looking for here. 
And more spiders. One hit. See that? That was nice. Go Aragorn. Aragorn's very powerful swordsman in this game. I think I like him more than Boromir. Ah. So, where were those gravestones? Well, the ones that I was at earlier, that wasn't Burry's car, and that was like a whole bunch of other people. A whole bunch of other dwarves. I know he's around here somewhere. Hmm. I might pause this and try and find it off screen. Yeah. Uh, more spiders. Good thing there's no poison in this game. Unlike the Super Nintendo version where they do have poison. Oh uh, no, that's not it. Baldor, Orin, and Balthor. We need Burry. We got an auto map maybe? Oh, they're down there. Silly me. They were down there the whole time. Gotta love the auto map feature of this game. <laughs> Ah, uh, here we are. Here lies Burry, Nain, and Glane. Alright, so now, from here we go west. And then we go south. And then we go east. South. East. And then north. And then finally west. See if there's anything here. There is something buried here. Well, let's dig it up. Uh, let's see, where's my shovel? Love the little puzzles like this. Sam, you have the shovel, don't you? Yeah, there you go. Note says this is Galadriel's token. Is it a symbol of friendship? Of the Eldar and the Nagra. Two of these were made long ago by the Queen Galadriel to King Durin when he helped her escape from Sauron during the Ancient Wars. Only one other token is known to exist, in Moria. This token is used as one of the safeguards to prevent Durin's axe from falling into the hands of our enemies. The other is the Golden Wheel. Only with these can the items can Durin's axe be regained. Aha! So this is a key item. So I got the lady token. Hopefully I did. Let's just make sure the game isn't glitching on me again. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so let's make our way out of the Forsaken Inn. Gotta love the auto map feature. Out this way, right? Yeah. All right. Now we're outside of the Forsaken Inn. But what awaits us after Bree here? Will we make it to Rivendell in time? You're gonna have to wait to the next Let's Play to find out. And oh, I heard some wolves. What awaits us in the shadows? And will we be able to fight these guys off? Tune in next time for the next exciting episode of Let's Play Lord of the Rings. This is Tifa's Revenge, signing off.